Yo! Video games. What's up, dudes? G Busters, we're going in. How's it going, guys? Busting makes me feel good. Busting makes everybody feel good, Simmons. Everybody. So uh, here we go. This is. I think we've been talking about playing this game for like fucking, jeez, like a year. We've always wanted to play it. I always, for some reason, thought that the game actually had co-op of some kind, like actual proper co-op, but it totally doesn't. And, um, yeah, we're just gonna jump into some Ghostbusters for a couple hours. Early stream today, we're not gonna be going as long, but, but, we're gonna be playing a bit of this. Yeah, dude, Harold Ramis is in this shit. It's so good. Let me make sure this stuff works really quick. Oh, it's still muted. There we go. Alright, it's working. So that's the official good to go Simmons. Take us into the world where busted makes me feel good. New career or new career? Uh, definitely new career. Let's, let's start over from the start. Let's get this shit going. Cuz I want. Wow, one save file. Jesus. No more than one. You're only allowed to have one. Even on PC. Seems a little odd. Have you or your family actually seen a spook, specter, or ghost? Oh, oh shit! The thing is going nuts! Joe, thank you very much, dude, and Silent Bob X. I appreciate it, guys. Holy shit! Hey man, you hear these wings? Yep. By the new ghost exhibit? Yeah. Why? Something had it go away. Wait. I'm not really familiar with this franchise, so... Let me play! <laughs> then I will play. You can play. I want to play, I really do, actually. Like, I've seen the first movie, and that's it. Like, I haven't seen the second one. Uh, the second movie's just as good as the first one. I know they use an NES advantage to control the Statue of Liberty. They do, and it's, it's a great scene. There's a lot of really good moments in Ghostbusters, too. I think I saw a courtroom scene where, like, yes. these really super claymation y looking dudes in electric chairs appeared, yes. and they're like, the whatever, Scapelli brothers, I put those guys away like 30 years ago. Yeah, whatever. that's Something exactly like that. it. There's, there's, some, there's some cool fucking moments in Ghostbusters, too. I kind of like it. Crazy to see that it's got the whole cast and it's still written by Dan Aykroyd and Harold Ramis. Yeah. This is pretty much Ghostbusters 3. I thought it said Rape Banshee. What? <laughs> rape Banshee. Well, I mean, if, if you were a Banshee, what would you be doing? Rape! <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Do, do ghosts get boners? Infernal Rabbit, what's up, dude? I don't know if I like this more rendered out version of the Ghostbusters logo. I kind of like the simplicity of white, black, and red. I'm gonna take away all the highlights and shit. It's just a Photoshop effect, isn't it? Oh, uh, it's not- no, I, that somebody drew that shit on. You see how it's like outlined here? Reflection uh, of the light. I thought no, that was somebody all, drew it. I thought it was all After Effects. Hey, it's the new cadet! Welcome aboard! This that, uh... That, uh, little fan art Great. above, uh, Thanks Dan Aykroyd. I mean, I know it was supposed to be like him holding a proton stream, but it just looked like he was pissing. I think that's the, I think that's the joke. That's the joke. Like he was just pissing proton out there. I guess he's right. What's your name again, kid? No names, Ray. I don't want to get too attached to this kid. You know, just in case. He's tuned and ready to go. Make a little tingle. You might feel a little tingle. We perfected an extensive and rigorous training regimen that will teach you all your equipment's basic functions. It takes some time to achieve master throw skill, but it's definitely worth the effort. Oh, the fart gas is back! Was that us? I don't think so. Ray? That'd be some sort of psi energy pulse. Substantial, a significant collected and centralized necromatic convulsion level 7 or more. Agreed. We need EMF measurement checks now. Electromagnetic motherfuckers. I know the answer, but I'm gonna ask anyway. 
say, is a level seven uh, whatever bad or very bad? On a scale of one to ten, I would say. Let me guess. It's a seven. Let's just say we're about to get real busy. Slimer, you that fucking pizza shit. shit. Well, why would they keep Slimer in a fucking like, fish attack. tank anyways? No way to come back. You guys can't actually hear the game volume at all? That's not good. Let me see something. I can't hear a goddamn thing! Can you hear this stuff, guys? Cause it looks pretty loud on my end. Looks pretty loud. The uh, the voices are very low in this game. Let's move. <laughs> now they're loud as shit. Now it's loud as fuck! They've got a fire pole! <laughs> Does this thing still work? Man! Is. This place is great! Let's sleep here tonight! Let's sleep here tonight! When do we move in? Okay, easy now, cadet. I'll talk you through this. Use the proton stream to get his attention. I wanna shove this thing right up his ass! Fuck! <laughs> sensitive equipment you're disintegrating there, kid. Oops, you let one out. That's my fault. I was fine-tuning the interspatial gasket this afternoon. I'll fix it. You two get those ghosts back. So you can actually play this game HUDless, from what I remember, if you want. Uh, because everything you need is on the proton pack. His escapee friend went with him. Mm. Come on, kid. We got a job for you. Taking the right precautions, Slimer's harmless. Uh, more or less. I'm not sure about the other guy, though. Okay. Let's go get him. I'm not sure about the other asshole. Oh, so you'll notice uh, music from the movies. It's One thing that I kind of liked about Alien Colonial Marines is that they did use music from the movie a lot of the time. Yeah. And I do appreciate that. First and foremost, before things get out of hand, you want to get to know your partner. Hey, my shit. Does anyone remember Ecto Cooler? on the pack itself. Here's what it was see. like it was high C, high C ecto, ecto cooler. cooler. I was addicted to that shit. That shit was around forever. It was like, delicious, like, man. Oh, like probably decades after the movie yeah, was were out. You know what? I'd like to watch. It was still selling it. I'd like to watch the Ghostbusters animated series again. I really would. Aren't there like two or three Ghostbusters animated series? No, I'm talking the old '80s ones. It's like real Ghostbusters, extreme Ghostbusters. The real Ghostbusters is the one I mean. I don't know. I'm not I'm or other offensive equipment. Hard to follow. You know what's really weird though? Dissipating their I don't know. I did not know a single fucking kid growing up who like You're watched Ghostbusters. Shot, like they had action figures, they had video games, and shit. But I didn't know a single goddamn soul who was like, "Yeah, go fucking Ghostbusters." Fuck you, kid. That shit was amazing. I don't. Well, I'm just. I had a lot of friends that loved Ghostbusters. I'm telling you, I never fucking knew any kid who sat there and was like, I want to be a Ghostbuster, let's play Ghostbusters. I would, like, I would run just around. never fucking happened. Any of my friends would run around with our plastic proton packs, Ooh. and we would we'd I, fuck I, ghosts up. I remember my brother renting the cassette oh, soundtrack from the library, because it's, everyone knew the song, like yeah. the theme. Everyone knows the Ghostbusters theme, like that was cool, everyone would listen to that. But, like, nobody I knew ever sat there and said, let's play Ghostbusters. You know, and stuck a fucking cardboard box on their back and, you know, stole their dad's garden hood and said, I'm Ray, or whatever, Peter, or whatever. That was me. No, you weren't. You were playing Predator, you liar. No, dude, I was, I was, you, you should see the fucking pictures. I love Ghostbusters, like, religiously. And I had a lot of friends that did, too, back in the day. And this was, like, you know, seven-year-old kids. The movie had been out for a long time, like, yeah. at that point. Yeah, well, I mean... If you really think right, about it, like, Next stage, a lot of sort of 80s films just stuck around for a long time into the 90s. Uh, like Star Wars, Indiana Jones, I, I guess Ghostbusters in, in Rage of Art. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, 
you know, even like Predator and Aliens, like those were all 80s films. Like they were not new in like the early 90s or late 80s. Like I think the I don't know. I remember Batman being hot shit in '89. I remember Who Framed Roger Rabbit being hot shit in '89. Roger Rabbit was never really hot. It was kind of popular. I don't know. I. It was weird because like. Uh, there you go. Okay, do you remember the warehouse? It was there. Yeah, yeah. There used to be a, a movie or a, a video store rental place like. So oh yes. Movies and music and shit. And it was called the warehouse. I do. And uh, that's where you rent movies from. So we would rent movies. And I remember like. Roger Rabbit being kind of like this big thing. Me and my brother always wanted to fucking watch when it was new on, on VHS. And right. Yes. And like my mom, obviously, oh, like I mean, if she, I mean, track. fuck, man, like couldn't could never uh, rent that around her. But like, Why if mom was out of town for the weekend or whatever, or or only dad was taking us, watch that shit. We would rent Roger Rabbit and yeah. then we would fucking watch it. In a word, don't do it. Seriously. It was kind of funny because I don't know. My mom probably be upset over Jessica Rabbit or whatever. But like at the time. Hey, I thought big boobs were funny. It's all the new stuff. You yeah. know what I mean? These are new like, I didn't sit there and go, <laughs> oh boy, cool like, you know, what's this going down on my pants? It's getting hard. I, it's fun. funny. It's just like, ah, oh, you got boobies. I do remember at a point in my life where I was like, you know, pre, pre-adolescent and girls were gross, you know, that, that yeah. whole phase of your life. And I do remember at one point seeing a Bally Total Fitness commercial on TV and thinking to myself, Man, how do like Screw why do people go why do you guys go crazy over this? They're just girls, stupid. Yeah. And then the next year I was like, oh fuck it, yeah, this shit is hot. <laughs> like one year later I was like, oh yeah, this shit is so hot. It was kind of more <laughs> accurate of how it was. Like when you hit the Look at that shit. When you cross that line. Eddie Izzard has this great this great saying about puberty. And it's like it's the one moment in your entire life where you finally need to impress the opposite sex and your body just goes, fuck right off. And everything you get hair in weird places, your face just melts with acne and zits and your voice. Voice sounds like you're this stupid little like teenager. It, it's the one moment where you need to impress somebody, and your body just goes fuck off. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, this 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 entire franchise is embedded into my childhood. If there's three things that I could I could maybe four things that I can say define my childhood. No five. No five. No five. Predator. Six. Predator, Aliens, Ghostbusters, Mega Man, Spawn. Predator, Alien, Ghostbusters, Mega Man, Spawn. Fuck! There's one more I'm missing. Back to the Future. Back to the Future. Jackass. <laughs> yeah. Define my childhood. I demand a refund right now. Also, uh, Final Fantasy VII would be on there, but that's like teen years. Yeah. In voices. So how Street old Fighters, is, there's how old does it make us sound when, You'll when I can say I remember watching the Back to the Future movie in theaters? I don't remember watching Back to the Future 1 in theaters. No, I don't remember 1. I do remember what the sequel. I do remember going out specifically to see Back to the Future 3. And I do remember when, when Back to the Future 2 came out, you go out and you watch it and it says to be concluded at the end. And I remember asking my mom, what does concluded mean? What's concluded? What is concluded? I know it continues. You means. <laughs> but yeah, I, I very, very much Hello. remember seeing uh, Back to the Future You're 3 yeah. in a movie theater. The Ghostbusters are here. Back off, Which loser. makes me. <laughs> rarely works with me. I'll show you why later. Well, the funny thing is, is that nowadays. Everyone else that designs games is around the same age as us, so they're making shit like this, yeah. <laughs> which is pretty much crafted around like '80s nostalgia. I, I always right. said this Transformers. Right. I think it's Fall of Cybertron Dr. is seven. a fucking love. Seven letter. things. Seven things, Max. Seven things. Transformers. Part of our Transformers was the other one. Fuck yeah, that's it. Seven, seven, seven things that define my childhood. Uh, yeah, Transformers Fall of Cybertron is made for tran old classic Transformers fans. That game is just fucking brilliant. You know what else, like, uh, in a weird sort of way, I was really big on when I was a kid? Like, when I was super fucking young, like, I like Mickey Mouse. Yeah. We're talking, like, two, three, four. Uh, nice. Four, five. I liked Looney Tunes. Yeah. And I became this Warner Brothers oh, kid. On. Like I didn't I'm the one that gets I didn't even really like every time. I didn't really like Blue Disney Blue that much. Like I went to see their movie yeah, their big movies in theaters, well. but like there was a point Watch where it. I just like if it wasn't like a 
Goofy or Donald thing, like, I really just didn't give a shit anymore about, like, Disney characters. Anything, yeah. Like, Disney characters just didn't do it for me anymore. Like, it was all about Looney Tunes. <clears throat> and I became, like, a WB person. All right, showtime. We wear them out. Then we capture Which is weird, because I, I still watch Disney Afternoon, but, like, I was... I was very much, like, Looney Tunes all the way. Run. Come on, let's go! Peter! Nah, I've seen this one already. Know how it ends. You two have fun. Bankman, now. don't fall for that shit. And escort any ladies safe. Man, remember the Warner Brothers stores? Yeah. Okay. I do. Um, mostly because my family got fifty percent discount like at Warner Brothers stores. Market. Holy shit! Yeah, dad. Dad worked. My dad worked at Warner Brothers. The he worked in uh, data this lets you for a long time. Undetectable phenomena while you track it. Those trails and then 2008 happened, and we lost everything. I think it was everything. where where was the nearest the Legion store? Peaks, headed in the right direction. WB store to us was it uh, Burbank? Burbank. I think it was Burbank. There was there was the one, some there was the that one that next sticks, to Warner Brothers. Okay, that's the that, so one that sticks out in my mind. Is we went to Burbank to go to the Warner Brothers store. Way to go! And God, I remember going there for the first time as like a pretty young kid, and I flipped my shit. Yeah. WB store lost. It. My dad area. thought there was something Paranormal fucking enough. wrong with me. Blue. <laughs> my mom was like, "Let him be happy." <laughs> Let him be happy. Yeah. And, and it never happened again. Your, 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 it was pretty funny, is that your dad witnessed his child being happy and did not understand. We thought I was getting, I thought, I, yeah. Getting warmer. Wait, why is he happy? Should well, be it, happy. It was more like calm down because I was like ecstatic. Like hopping up and down, like, like going, scan, holy shit, yes, 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 look at it. And I was like, the toy section, I saw all these, like, cool toys I'd never fucking seen before for, like, Tiny Toons and stuff, and, you know, Batman, and all that stuff, and I was just, like, losing my shit over it. And my dad just didn't get it. Class 5, full, full, full roaming vapor. That was a lot harder to, to read than it is to say. Class 5, full roaming vapor. And, like, I always remember Disney stores, like, there were pretty big stores, so they were kind of cool to see He's if you had to see one, here. like in a mall. Yeah. But like, I just didn't give a crap past like, like four. A we get paid extra for everything we spend. I was never really into Disney ever in my life. Research and um, extra funds let us experiment with never really had an interest in it. I think the only time I was ever slightly in into Disney was The Lion King. And that was because my sister Remember, was around at that time. And Tess liked Disney stuff a lot. And it was because it was around me more, I guess I kind of enjoyed it. I did. I always liked Disneyland, though. Oh, who didn't? <laughs> well, Venkman got fucked. Peter, come in. I always okay? liked Disneyland, but I was never in a Disney movie uh -oh, specifically. Yeah. We've got a man down. Go, go. I liked go. Aladdin. I did. I do remember seeing Aladdin in theaters. You can move faster than that, can't you? Double yeah, I never in. saw a Disney movie in theaters with my parents um, until Tess was around. Oh, it's the music from the movie. I saw. He's been slimed again. Hustle over here and help him up, will you? How did this even happen? I was uh, covering the I, I saw a little... Wait, where did I see the theaters? Trumble. Hello, Mermaid Shut Theaters. I saw everything yeah. beyond that. Yeah. I got a fond memory of seeing Rescuers Down Under some theaters. When one of us goes down, we always help each other out.